everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with your host, Dave Cully. Glad you joined me today in this episode. Today, we're looking at Topaz Studio 2 again. On today's episode, we're looking at the color theme filter. This is a really cool filter for changing colors around in your image. So stay tuned and see how this thing works. It's really, really awesome. All right, let's get started. We're working on this beautiful uh, sunset beach scene right here. And I'm going to show you how we can use the color theme uh, filter to alter the colors of this image. It's really neat. So let's get started. First off, notice I've added the AI clear filter just to get rid of some noise and sharpen the image up a bit. Let's go up here to add filter. Let's come down to the creative section here and click on color theme. All right, let's go here. Now you'll notice right here that we have these five blocks of color here representing, I would say probably the five most dominant colors of your image. And of course we have the opacity slider. We've gone over this many times. So we have the blending modes here and we have the presets here. Let's take a look at the presets. Let's click the drop down here. And here's one called blush and you can see what it's doing. It's changing colors here. Color cast, probably for removing color cast. Let's look at some of these desert. Okay. I generally uh, will just do my own adjustments here. I don't really use the presets here, but you can use these if you get one that you really like. Here's golden hour. Okay, so let's come up here to color theme and click the reset button. Now let's get started here. Now you notice every one of these colors that are represented in your image here have a number value to them. These are actual number values of these particular colors. These are the original colors in these blocks. And in these blocks below, this is your new color theme, so we can come and alter these colors. And you notice here we have this color wheel right here. And we also have a lightness slider. We can adjust the lightness of these colors. And we have a detail slider. We can add some details, and we can remove artifacts. But let's start with the colors first. Let's take a look at the first color here, number 674747. And it's already selected, so I don't have to click on it. But you see this little target right here? You can take this target and move it all around here. And this particular color of the image, which is probably right around in, in here somewhere, will change as I move this around. Now I gotta say there's a little bug in this filter. I'm working on a Mac. This bug may not be on Windows machines, but it is, a, is on a Mac machine. We do have this little bug. When you, you're supposed to be able to take the slider and just slide it all around. But you notice I'm clicking and dragging and it stops right there. So that's a little bit of a pain. Hopefully it'll get that fixed soon. But you'll notice that color is changing when I move this around. So to get around that little bug, I'm just going to click my little hand tool in a different color here. So I'm going to come up here into the reds. And you notice how the red tints have changed in this image here. Let me click on the blues over here. And you notice now they're carrying a blue cast to them. So let's find a color that we like. I'm going to keep it kind of warm. So let's go over in this area right here. And maybe, you know, a little bit on the oranger side. Let's add a little bit more saturation. That might be a little too much. Pull this down. And as I always say, just move these sliders around and find something that you like. There's no right or wrong here. It's really what you like. And then you have this uh, lightness slider here. So you can take this and move it to the right and you'll make that color lighter. Or move it to the left, you can make that color darker. So depending on what mood you're trying to emphasize, you just adjust that slider. And I'm going to say right there looks pretty cool. You don't have to work with each one of these blocks, but just the ones that you want to alter. So let's go up to the blue, blue here, up in the blue of the sky. So let's click on the next block, represented by this number 474787. So let's give that a click. Now let's say, what if we wanted these blues to go a little more onto the pink side? So I'm just going to click over into the pink tones. And you notice how they get a nice little pink tone there. Now, if I slide up, I'll add more saturation. So let me just see if I can slide up here without this thing going crazy on me. So there, I've added a little bit more saturation to that. Now we can come down to the lightness and let's lighten it up a little bit. Or let's darken it a little bit, depending what we want. And I'm going to say maybe right around there looks pretty cool. Now notice here, the blue block is now this pink color. And the first color I adjusted, this color right here, is now more of a brown sienna type color. All right, so now let's um, work on this color right here. It looks like more cyan type blues. This color right here, 7787B7. All right, so let's click on this one. And let's take this one a little more into the pink side and see what that looks like. Okay, so we get an overall pink magenta cast to the overall image. And that looks pretty nice. And let's come up here and give it a little more saturation. Maybe right around there. 
And let's alter its brightness again here a little bit. We can make it a little, little lighter. I'm going to say somewhere right now. Let's come up to the eye right up here on the color theme layer and give that a click. There's our before. Big change, right? And there's our after. So depending what mood we're looking for, we can alter that. Now remember, to get your controls back here, just click on color theme on this layer right here, and the controls come back up. All right, so now I have two pinkish type tones. Let's go into these warmer tones here. Let's click on this block right here. Let's make this uh, sunset right here a little bit more into the orange side. So let me just click up into the more orange areas. Let's go even higher in saturation. Maybe right up around there. Now let's adjust this uh, lightness slider here. Let's give it a, make it lighter. Let's make it darker. Okay, so we can darken it up a little bit. And actually, I like it a little on the darker side. Now, what if I gave it a little bit more saturation? Maybe somewhere in there. That looks pretty good. Now, also remember, I can come here to the center and give that a click. And you'll see the before and the after. So already, we have a nice little change in this image right here. Now, let's go to the last color here. And again, as I said, you don't have to hit every one of these blocks, just the one you want. It just so happens I want to see what I can do with this color here. So let's click on that one. And let's make it a little more into the orange side. Okay, and you notice it's affecting the beach here, which looks kind of nice. Let's give it even more. Okay, I like that. Let's darken that up a bit. Let me just click. And you can also click. You don't have to drag these sliders. You can just click as well and see and you can see my sand is getting darker there so i may actually want that sand to be a little on the dark side so maybe right around in there okay so that's looking pretty good let's click in the center here's our before and here's our after so you can see that's a really nice change and again depending on what mood i want i can change it and i love the color theme uh filter because you can do a lot of really cool color grading with this now don't forget you have this detail slider here so you can drag this detail slider to the right or to the left to soften your details, depending what you're looking for. This was a, like a uh, long exposure, so the ocean's kind of soft and the sky's kind of soft. So I probably don't want to bring that up too much. And if you see any artifacts coming here into your image, you can drag this artifact slider up to the right. It'll remove artifacts, but that's looking pretty good. And really here, I don't want to do too much to the details. Well, that was the color theme filter, a pretty nice filter. I really like this one a lot. So. If you like this video today, guys, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do so and hit that bell notification icon. That way you'll be informed of all the new training video videos that I'm putting out. Well, thanks again very much for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with your host, Dave Kelly. And I'll see everyone right here next time.